What's going on guys, Victor here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet up this beautiful gag grouper right here using the seven inch Dextream flexible fillet. This knife comes with a sheath. You guys can find it linked below. Now let's get started on this beautiful grouper. So the unique thing about this knife, it actually has a dual edge. You guys see the back of the blade features this serrated side right here, which makes it really useful to get through scales or any tough surface on a fish. This side has your traditional edge for your precision work. First thing I like to do with most fish is I like to make a head cut right here. So I will use this serrated side as to not dull my blade. Go right here, long into the head meat. Now I'm gonna line my blade up with the edge of the fish right here. Continuing to use the serrated side because even though grouper don't have big scales, it's just gonna still preserve the edge of our blade all the way to the tail. So I've made that outline. I'm going to flip my blade over and I'm going to use the precision side, get it down on this gag grouper spine and release that beautiful white meat. Look at that. That's some gorgeous stuff right there. And I will continue to do this until I get to the center of the fish or this backbone right here. Okay, we need to free up this head meat. Now, snapper and grouper all have a very thick set of pin bones. These pin bones will attach right about here, right in the middle of the fish to the rib cage. So what you're gonna do is tilt your knife up slightly and give it some pressure and break through them, just like that. You can kind of hear it. It's like you're going to the chiropractor, okay? Once we've broke through those pin bones, now I can continue to go over the grouper's rib cage, tip of my knife down and on the other side of the grouper's backbone. Continue to do this as long as it takes. It is not a race. Everyone flays at their own pace. The important thing is you do a good job, respect the animal, and get as much meat off of it as possible. And just like that. So there you go. There you see. Those pin bones I was talking about, if you can imagine, right here, there's his rib cage, there's his backbone. You break through those, it makes your life a lot easier. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go right here along his pec fin, follow that head meat, and you can feel where it's soft and where it ends. Okay, once I do that, I will once again, I'm still using the serrated side right here. I'm going to work along the length of this grouper. Very superficially, you guys see that the tip of my blade is not that far in there. So once I've outlined my grouper, take my left hand, grab a piece of that fillet, and now I'll just continue to separate that flesh from the spine. Nice thing about this blade too is that it's flexible, so it really contours to the fish. So once again, you guys see, all of this fillet is basically released until I get to the backbone right there. You can hear it, listen to this. That's the fish's backbone, that's where you wanna be. Okay, firmly grab this shoulder piece right here. We're gonna break through these pin bones once again. Okay. I'm going to continue to go over the grouper's rib cage and on the other side of the backbone right here. One final tail cut right here. And there you go. There's your other side of your grouper, take your hand, wipe it so it's nice and flush. So now we're not done with our grouper. Grouper are a species that have a lot of cheek meat and you can feel it. Feel around with your hands and you're gonna feel it's real hard right here and where it gets soft is where you're gonna wanna insert your knife, okay? So I feel that it's soft right about there. 
and you kind of just let your knife guide you as to where it can go. So I'll just kind of swivel and it's very intuitive. Okay, once I've freed it up, now I can continue to peel back with one hand and you'll see that there's just kind of like a little pocket of cheek meat right here. And obviously the bigger the grouper, the bigger the cheek meat. Okay, I'll peel all that back. Now what you can do is, you don't actually have to skin this. I just want to get my knife to where I free up the skin and watch this. I can peel this grouper cheek meat right off of the skin. So, you know, you got about two ounces of fish right there that would go to waste. A lot of people don't know about that cheek meat, but you can see it's right there. You visualize it, there's a little flap, all that hidden goodness in there. So I'm not going to show you the other side because it's the exact same thing. When we skin fish, always line them up right on the edge of the flay table because you want your knife to be as flush with it as possible. If it's way out here, you're not going to be able to get your knife flat. So when I do that, and remember, be mindful that you do have this serrated edge right here. You don't want to get too close to it. Now I'm just going to swivel back and forth, push my knife away from me, and just free up the filet from our grouper skin. Just like this. Watch. Bam. Get a beautiful piece of skinless grouper right now. We'll discard this. Flip our filet over. Now what I'm going to do is, those pin bones I told you guys about earlier, you can feel them right here along the center of the fish. Go about halfway down is where they end on most fish. Put your knife on one side of them. On the other side, lift up and remove this. You can certainly eat this and you can eat around the bones, but for the recipe we want out of this fish, I prefer to remove the pin bones right here. And that's all there is to it. So now you can fine tune your fish however you want, portion it up, grill it, bake it, steam it, fry it. Great fried fish right there. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this knife, this very unique knife, check it out linked below. Seven inch Dexter, Dextream flexible fillet. The dual edge, serrated side on that side, precision side on that side. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.